Hello stalkers! I'm Haunt Reaper and today I'll tell you something about Stalker 2. Yeah, I had to do this sooner, but cause my speedrun marathon at the time of trailer releasing and some other problems, I had to defer this video. However, I must congratulate you stalkers. June 14, trailer of gameplay released, but it showed not only gameplay, we've finally seen announcement and date of game release. They promised the date 28 April 2022 and now you can pre-order it. Most easy cost, confirm to standard version $60. Maximal version is worth almost twice and has some additional things, such as art book, story expansions, also costume and weapon skins, which suggest multiplayer in new game. If you prefer to touch or smell something, you can take retail version, which costs at least $60. For maximal funds, they offer ultimate version for $340, with lot of funny things. Now we are gradually going to trailer. Lately, the story about trailer released from Zahar Bocharov personally. Also some post in VK official group. And now, after gaining information and delivering from rumors, we can make full review. By the way, game hasn't released yet, but we have already found several bugs. But I'll show it at the end of video. Let's start from trailer start. We are sure it is intro of new stalker long time ago, so go further. First scene, fire camp. The first thing that immediately catches the eye is detailing level of everything we see, quality of animations, we see even random movements of fingers. And it seems that fingers of guitarist are not going through the guitar anymore, and guitarist really plays with strings. Now details. According to subtitles, we see such persons as Lelik, Curly Vita, Mittai, known in previous parts of game. Although he can be different, protagonist obviously came from completed task, such as kill group. In order for tell about this, we see shining window and cafe inscription on the ground. So it is not a rocky village, but it may well be something like local bar. Another one stalker walking on the ground. What weapons do we see? Cut off shotgun, wall. We can see sunrise suits on two characters. So it's not the beginning of game, I think. Skiff stories recently cross object arc. So likely this location must be nearby. Also, what do we see? Pickles. That's something new. The hub sausages and batons became really bad. Now stalkers prefer pickles. Next scene. Protagonist fights unknown faction, which looks like bandits according to their clothes. Wait a minute, why known? We have a hint. Inscription on wall has a phrase like a punch Varta's mouth. I guess this is new faction, Varta, which means guard from Ukrainian. Developers confirm existing of new factions in message from 30 June. This frame has tanker truck and tank wagons left side, which definitely means it's oil refinery or another chemical plant. We see known gun, MP5. Silencer set by Skiff suggests existence of stealths in new game. I have to notice added detailed animations of setting upgrades for weapons. Unlike for example Shadow of Chernobyl, where we can set a scope without pulling a weapon from backpack. Here is something like banded stores, boxes with AKs, G36, Kalashnikov's matching gun, some modifications and our favorite containers. While shooting we don't see crosshair and true scope walking. Zooming occurs on lens only. Next scene happened in known from clear sky location, swamps. It's a one tower battered by time, time left from previous part, approximately 10 years. By the way, according to developers' messages, zone increased to 64 square kilometers, which on level of GTA 5. And we'll see such known locations as Swamps, Cordon, Pripyat, also new locations. Here we can see a roof of fisherman camp, which confirms the information about location. Further, they show running flash, as always getting anomaly or really jig, like in Shadow of Chernobyl. 
JSC confirms that old monsters and anomalies will stay, but also new will be added. We can spot run and blind dog on background. By the way, well known thing, you can find it twice. We can consider that as a hint for finding tools for mechanic masters as in Call of Prepit. And this apparently is a new anomaly, X Host, which we saw in previous teaser. We can spot the tank on the ground, how it could get here. Now what we have in hands? Bolt and detector Gilka, which means branch, because of its fancy antenna. This artifact named Jelly, it increases your stamina. Next scene occurs is one of buildings of Chernobyl 2 city, near a object. Skip found interesting character. His name we can meet in some subtitles, Balshak. Here we see a lot of musical and cinematic equipment and detector echo. Further, this character starts to dance, qualitatively engaging with environment. Laboratories are most interesting locations in Stalker. So they showed one of it in trailer, of course. Capsules looks like in X18. Maybe it's a new floor or sector of this lab, but it may be other lab. According to some sources, it has several entrances. One additional entrance was supposed to be in shadow of Chernobyl on Red Forest, so I guess this lab is enough big. Moreover, X18 lab indicates on Red Forest, according to map. So it's most mystical lab in series. And it can be that one in trailer. So, Bloodsuckers became more clever and scary. It can move on all floors and attack from corners. Creatures become smart and its shapes depend on habitat, according to developers' messages. Now the most epic scene, with that one with silky hair. I don't know what anomalous pool he used for keeping his hair in good shape, but I think it's a theme of another video on another channel. Let's consider the place. We see abandoned cooling towers of 3rd Q. From what small tower is right, we look towards river. And yeah, actually we see port cranes and nuclear plant is behind us. But what is this roof? We see long building there and large crane. Let's find it on map. Got it. According to shadows, we can assume that this building is enough high, but we locate much higher. We see towers right behind this building, so our view is supposed to be around here. But according to shadows, this looks like a one-story warehouse or parking. We locate on one of roofs of most finished 5th power unit. Only this place has enough high roofs among all territory around, but it was unfinished and we see concrete poles as a confirmation. So, developers changed locations of objects in real exclusion zone a little bit. We can spot buildings there. Actually, spent fuel vault is there. But I have some doubts about existing this object in game. But it can be Kopachi village or its remains. According to map, this village locates right there. Further, we see object arc, but we cannot see it from this position. It locates much right. And we are not able to see it, actually. But the GCs will. We see anomalous activity even from this height. Flying junk is all the anomaly on swamps. But here it's much stronger. Almost invisible thing right there. And according to distance, something very huge and anomalous there. Maybe this is a true center of zone. Now let's listen our new friend. On Mochelsa. Это хорошо. Он этого не заслужил. А пулю заслужил. Жаль, что ты так с ним поступил. Мне тоже. Считаешь, я не думал, как обойтись. Обычно he dealt with Skiff, killing off some famous character. This character is preventing or prevented zone. I know only one character who could be Strelok. Maybe the cause of absence of this character in all teaser and trailers of new game. We have new protagonists and Strelok just became somebody's quest. But I guess this character can be one of chase of Monolith, which perhaps neutral for Skiff, 
or he just allowed to talk. But after that Skiff decided to kill them all, and next scene we see flying corpses of monoliths ministers from New Gauss gun. I think they overdid animations for this gun. If it shoots by strong discharges, I guess all details must be firmly attached to each other and not twitching somewhere above. So what should we do if we punch it into jump? Find Cardan again? Further spectacular electric effect and we return to fire. According to Zahar's explanations, Yegorovich said that last phrase. Now let's consider all bugs found. Of course I understand Stalker 2 is cool, but I love to find bugs even in trailers. I cannot do a thing with myself. 8 in total. First, bug fixed in last trailer is an intro, with part of texture stuck right side. But we'll not see it anymore. Bush near fire. Look how it moves. Seems it the one who got a message about storm. This is a great thing that we can consequences of recent rain and even drops on gun. But why this wall is wet on the partially and we see pools on the roof. Four. Look how NPCs drops their guns after dying. Looks like they're throwing it into player. 5. Our favorite copulations of objects each other, borrow it from previous parts. In this case, towering, plunk and barrel. Striped shadow on box looks bad. Seventh. Bottle with free agent. I know it. Even Soviet states turned out. But I was confused with size. And if you zoom in, you can see absence of curling at bottom. This is simple. It passed through book. And last bug. So the stone. It decided to not move after disappearing plank under it. I hope these bugs will be fixed, but it will be boring if we'll not have bugs at all. So I guess I tell you all I wanted and I can go. Thank you for your watching and see you in next video.